Hey everyone, um, we have another glaze opening to do. There's not a lot in this kiln, um, but I had some items that I wanted to get finished. Um, I have the chip and dip bowl in here that I did in the peacock technique, which I've never done before, so we'll see how that turned out. The whole glazing process wasn't quite what I had planned on because I didn't have the right equipment, but we'll see if it turned out pretty anyways. Um, and then I did a couple of other new glaze combinations because I bought a lot of new glazes. Um, some of those were inspired by the Facebook Live that I did last week, um, some recommendations. So I'm very hopeful. And uh, I programmed the kiln to cone six with a 15 minute hold, but since it wasn't a full load, I'm gonna guess that it got to a cone five. Um, Excuse me, but right now the kiln is at 142 degrees, so it is good. All right, it looks good so far. Okay, um, I'm not sure how hot 140. If I can take the glove off or not. Oh, again. So looks like we got to a hot cone five. So cone five, cone six. Good. That's kind of that's where I like to have it, honestly. Okay, this one, um, I did, I it looks so cool. I don't know if you can see it, the lighting is terrible. Um, so I did iron luster three times. So this is just um, zinc free clear on the bottom two thirds. Um, and then I did iron luster times three on the top third and then all of the inside and then I did oatmeal three times over that on the top third. But on the inside, I only went oatmeal two thirds of the way down. So there's like, oh, I need my light. I'm gonna go grab my light. Have our light. Should help. Okay, try that again. Is it better? Maybe like that. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so stay. Don't. Okay, no moving. Um, I like it. It makes these like really cool blue effect almost looks like blue fire i don't know that's neat i'm happy with that it looks good it looks good okay this is cute um so again zinc free clear on the bottom two thirds and then this is amico wasabi times four okay times four on the top third and then all the inside. It looks good. I like it. It's cute. I was excited about this one. <laughs> I like it. So this is Coyote Cherry Satin. Um, zinc free clear on the bottom times two. And then I think I did, let's see. Five, I did five coats of cherry satin. Just because when you put it on, and I read this when I was looking up this glaze, it goes on um, and dries almost instantly. So it just feels like, I wanted it to have like a definitive line. So I put extra coats on there, but that's cool, I like it. I'm happy with that. You can see where like it got a little bit shiny where the clear and the satin met, but not, not too much. That's cool. It's a nice cup. And it is hot in here. Okay. I did a spoon rest in the iron luster oatmeal combo. So um, three times iron luster and then three times oatmeal. That looks nice. I love that blue that it, it creates. 
Okay, that's all for the top shelf, so I'm gonna put my... And I used cookies under everything, just because these were all new glazes. And I was not sure what they would do. I think it's time for me to put some more kiln wash. Okay, <laughs> and this chip bowl. <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, that looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is, I know what it is, but I'm verifying. <laughs> Leopard tumbler. Um, okay, this is honey flux. So, okay, zinc free clear on the bottom, two thirds as always. All of these have that, okay. Um, honey flux times three on the inside and out top, outer top third. And then Chun Plum times two over that. What a pretty effect. I love that. I don't know if the camera is doing it any justice, but that looks so pretty. Happy. That's neat. Oh, this looks cute. Okay. Um, so this one is Amico's Snapdragon. Celadon, and I think I did it times four because I wanted it to be more um, opaque instead of translucent. So it looks good. I'm happy with that. That looks really good. All right. So I was so curious how this one would turn out. Okay. I tried glass, glass for the first time. Um, interesting. So I did speckled toad three times on the inside, on the inner ring. And then I did Amico seaweed around the outside. I don't know if you can tell, it's like a pretty green color. And then I found some green broken glass beads that I have a bunch of broken glass because I used to do resin. Um, but I put those pieces of glass and I'll post a picture at the end. Um, and then, so it's so hard to see on there, but like, it's like a dark, it turned almost sapphire blue, but you can see the broken or the crackle effect in there. That's neat. Cool. I wasn't sure how that was going to turn out. Okay, now this one was a test. And I did Mako's Black Walnut times three on the inner, um, the inner circle here. And then I took Snow times three around the rim and then overlapped it slightly. And I was hoping it would do what it did to this like almost leopard print effect. Um, I was hoping it would be a tiny bit more gray. It's like a greenish gray. It's like a green hue behind it, but it still looks really cool. I like it. And it's just snow on the outside. Nothing fancy there. That turned out good. All right, this dip bowl. <laughs> so I was going for a red, white, and blue effect. Um, and I will have to read this one it's a lot. Okay. I dipped it in winter wood first all over. And then um, I did two rows of U's in Mako's Light Flux. And it, it went on thick. Um, because I didn't have a squeezy bottle, I used a syringe. And the syringe pushed too much material out. So it had really thick. Um, globs of flux on there. And then I did stroke and coat, Caribbean blue in dots around the top layer. And then stroke and coat, ruby, sliver, <laughs> ruby slippers dots on the second row of U-shaped. Um, and I'll post a picture at the end so you can see it before it's, or the whole progress of it. Um, and then I did cinnabar on the top third times three and then I did sapphire times three on the inside and 
on the bottom or the back side of the bowl. And there's cinnabar on here too. And then I did one thick coat of snow in the middle third. So cinnabar, snow, sapphire. And it looks really cool. I mean, you can still definitely tell that it is red, white, and blue. Some pieces like here, like it didn't adhere to the winter wood very well. So maybe just do it without winter wood next time. Um, but I, it's still cool. Still red, white, and blue. I was wanting to make something. Um, this is the first time I made a chip and dip bowl. And so I wanted to just kind of use it as a tester. Um, and then I could use it at 4th of July. So I don't know, it's not terrible. I honestly expected it to be worse. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Why not? That's cool. Okay, and then that was it. But I'll show you the cones here. And it got to the same on the bottom shelf, so that's good. Looks like a hot cone five. So, worked in my favor today. It looked good. Um, so I spent some time this morning. I threw six more tumblers. I was having a rough throwing day. <laughs> Things just were not happening the way I wanted them to. So I got six tumblers made and then a couple of butter dishes that were ordered. So um, I will soon have enough to put in the kiln again. So until then, we'll see you guys next time.